Right, welcome back. Happy we've, Sunday. Happy Sunday. And we have got some very exciting news. Well, it's exciting for us, isn't it? Yeah, it's mega. We hit... 10,000 subscribers! Yay! <laughs> I, like, honestly, we hadn't even planned to document what we're doing. No. Um, but I'm so, so glad that we have been. Yeah, definitely. I'm blown away. So yeah. thank you all for subscribing. Thank it you means so the world much. to us. And if there's anybody else out there who fancies it, get on board. Click on the subscribe. Um, it blows my mind there's actually like 10,000 or more people that actually want to watch our videos. So that's crazy because it is yeah but um yeah thank you so much and we absolutely love all the comments and the advice and everything we've learned through you guys since starting this process so yeah it's, it's like having a, a, a little um what do they call it like a brainstorming yeah it's like amazing virtual brainstorming going on yeah it's it mega. really is and it's also been so nice for us to kind of go back the children wanted to look back through some videos the other day and they're like look we didn't we built this and there was or, no yeah, or green like the, trees. Yeah, exactly. Or... The second video where there's no there's no leaves on the trees. It's yeah, so bare. It's... And you forget totally. Yeah. So thank you so much. And yeah, 10,000 is just crazy. I know it's quite small in the grand scheme of YouTube, but for us, it feels absolutely mega. Um, but anyway, what's the plan this week, Badger? Well, on the outside kitchen potting shed slash oh, all things the in the room garden. room of dreams. That is actually, it's been so necessary for us because... <laughs> It's getting really warm here and cooking in the bus is just super hot. Very and hot. we had an outsidey space, but it kind of just ties everything together. Yeah. So this week I'm hoping to get the floor in. I'm hoping to get the roof on, mm -hmm. uh, make it nice and dry. And maybe if I get time, I'll get the kitcheny space worktops yeah, lined up nice. and set up. We've got friends coming at the end of the week. So we really want to have like a nice area for us to hang out. They came before in the Easter holidays and it rained the whole time so we were thinking we need a bit of a dry space dry space just in case <laughs> um, just in case the rain comes because it seems to happen that every time we have friends or family come and visit us it rains we do get a but of rain. the forecast is looking good so fingers crossed right well um, I'm gonna go and get on with it okay right let's go So while we ponder about the roof and the floor, I'm going to treat the wood that we've got out here already for bug treatment to stop the bugs eating it. So that's the next job. our little garden room yes i think we're going to try for some recycled tin nice um i thought about it and actually it's nice and light it's kind of cheap it's easy to install it's quick all that sort of stuff and also the and also the pitch wasn't pitch. enough for the tiles yeah so but we were going to use the tiles from the house which might have left us short so it's probably a blessing yeah really i think it's a good decision yeah. so off to the scrapyard we go yeah yeah i'm gonna move these bits of wood and then we'll go Right, we are just at a scrapyard and hopefully, look at all that, all that treasure. <laughs> hopefully we're gonna find some, what are we buying? Tin. Yeah. That's it, sort of our little garden. There we are, room, garden room. Garden kitchen. Garden kitchen room. <laughs> garden kitchen room and potting shed. <laughs> oh, yeah, and potting shed. <laughs> Stuff. Imagine what we could make with that. What could we make? Well, out of that tube, maybe we could bury it in the garden. It could be like a portal. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know. I find scrapyards terrifying. So much metal and I don't know. But also loads of treasures. Loads of treasures. Look at all these grates here. I don't even know what you could use them for. <gasps> Thank you. 
Right, I'm just back from the scrapyard and unfortunately they didn't have any or didn't have enough of the same profile um, that didn't also have holes in, which isn't ideal for the roof. So I've decided to go to the local merchant where we get all of our other bits and bobs <clears throat> and he's got some sheets that he can sell. So I'm going to put the new sheets on the roof, but hopefully if I can use the old sheets somewhere else, I'll find a home for them um, and go back and get them. Right, so I've just put those sheets on the roof. Now I need to get on top of the roof, square them up and screw them on. I totally forgot to film me throwing them up because nobody else was here and I only had my phone in my pocket. But it's starting to come together. We've got a bit of a roof and I've got the kitchen ready with the bits and bobs to build out of timber and stuff. So looking good. So I've just finished the roof above me. It's crazy hot, hats off. Um, I've had an idea because we've got leftover windows and stuff that I haven't used. I'm not going to bore you with it because it's going to be such an organic process. I'm not sure if it's even going to work, but I'm going to crack on with that. And if it works, I'll show you later. So big day yesterday. Badger got the roof up. We went for tin in the end because it's tin, isn't it, Badger? Yeah. Metal, metal roof. Because it's such a low pitch. It's such a low pitch. And also, I don't know if it's hard to see. Also, it's nice and lightweight, and I just really like the look of it for a kind of garden room, greenhouse, potting shed, kitchen. Um, I think it goes really nicely with the windows. So here he's put up these windows as an overhang to keep the doors and windows dry, which I absolutely love. And also use the rest of them to make this part of the roof glass which just looks amazing. The camera really isn't doing it justice. Um, oh, I'm so excited for it. I've spotted her in the background hanging out the sheets. So, yeah. Mrs. Scotter, I've been thinking about the floor. Is it floor time already? It is. The roof is done. <laughs> That's exciting. All hot. Yeah. Um, do you remember earlier when you came and found me and I was sifting through the wood over here? Mm -hmm. Well, I've laid a few bits down. Do you want to come and have a look? Yeah. Come on then. So, as you like it, higgledy piggledy, oldy woldy, boho, 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 boho. Is that I right? I just basically don't like straight lines. Yeah. I love like nibbles and nobbles and <laughs> nooks yeah. and crannies. Nooks and so, crannies. I thought maybe we could put these sort of cut planks that we use for the cladding. We've got some left over. Maybe we could just use them on the floor in a higgledy piggledy kind of notion. I love that idea. Yeah. How are you going to fit them together though? Well then, like well. Skinny. They are skinny and fat and long and tall and... Uh, well, I I can't promise there'll be neat gaps, but that kind of fits in with the higgledy piggledy -ness. No, I like it. Yeah? I like it, I like it. And also, okay. don't wanna, we don't want to buy any... Well, we might as well use it up, too. ...boards or decking or anything, so... Yeah, and yeah, we need cool. to take all these little pins back for the... Uh, not pins, the little spaces back. So yeah. the more we can use up, the quicker we can get them back to him. Yes. Another job. Another job. Another job. Right, let's get on with the floor. Cool.
So, sorry about my feet there. So, this is how it's turned out. It was tricky, but we have managed to get them to fit um, in a higgledy piggledy fashion without too many mega gaps. So yeah, I'm chuffed with how that's come out. Needs a bit of a sand, and a bit of a treat, but it looks good. Right, Betsy Boo, where are we off to? To put the fairy house where in the forest. <coughs> fairy house in the forest for the fairies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Betsy, Betsy wrote the letter, you say that. You wrote them a little note, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> so where do you think is gonna be a good place for the fairy house? I think maybe near the apple tree. Oh, good thinking. And, and in the apple tree. In the apple tree? Yeah. Should we go have a look? Yeah. What do you think, Wilfred? I think by the apple tree would be good. Mommy, I think it's a good idea. Let's try again. Yeah, look. Come on, Will. It's good. You think that's ready? No, it's not ready yet. Leave it. No! Look at it. Oh, something's been nibbling on that, That's haven't it. they? Oh, it looks like a squirrel, maybe. Oh, lucky squirrel. Good. We were originally thinking for the fairy house, the apple tree. Well, if you look at this, where we are in now, where the apples are. At the moment. But we thought maybe a bit closer to the river would be better. Yeah. Come on, then. Let's go. Where have you got an idea for it then? Where do you think it should go? Well, I think it should go over here. Mummy! Good thinking! Like here, maybe. I'm turning around a bit. Maybe like this, but look. I think, I think we, should, we should put it on this rock here. Okay. No, that's a bit like leaning. And I got a fairy pine cone. <gasps> You're gonna leave it in the house for them? Like yeah. that. Mm. For me, for me. That's a good place. Yeah. Is it level? Are they gonna fall out of their beds? Mm, yeah, probably. Wilfred, could you make, help them make it level maybe? There we go. That look leveled? I think this will help. Yeah, that looks leveled. That looks good. There's some of it on grass. There's some of it on grass. Make them. So they've got the little stream. Yeah. Down there, and then yeah. the house, and then yeah. it goes into the big river down there. Yeah. Is it a good place? Yeah. Mummy, that could be a beach there. That could be their little fairy beach. Yeah. Good idea. Trixie, can you show me the bedrooms and stuff? What have you done in the fairy house? I like done uh, these eyes here. And I should take it first. Don't need so it. you've left them some flowers mm -hmm. and the dried flowers to decorate and then you did some nice painting didn't you? Yeah like here. Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. They've got a wooden floor. Putting in there, Trixie. These two. Found some more presents for them. Yeah. What's the plan now, Betsy? Um, we are going to wait till the fairies live in there, then tomorrow we'll come down and check if they've been in there. Good plan. I would love to live in that house. Me too. <laughs>
goodness! <laughs> Did you? Um, it, it picked out one of these, and then it flew off, then it, um, it gone past those clouds, hide it in the, and gone up there. Wow! Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah! Should we come back tomorrow and see if they've moved in? Yeah! Okay, see if they're cool. sleeping and catch one. Oh no, we don't want to catch them. Why? Because we want them to live here forever. And live in this house. Yeah, and be happy here. Yeah, and they can sleep. chewing the branch and then and you're trying to ride it are you and i'm trying to climb it you're trying to climb it cool yeah. i don't know how to climb it get down you branch get on it <laughs> i don't know if it's strong enough we might have to find a different climbing tree uh, uh, uh. <laughs> So Badger, Whoa. as you Whoa. never record Whoa. yourself doing anything, <laughs> floor, floor is nearly, nearly complete, nearly. There's a few little bits to do over there, but as we've got guests arriving at midnight tonight, I wanted this to be an outside kitchen. So I'm just putting in the framework for the kitchen here. Yep. Then I'm gonna put some worktops on and probably leave it open underneath just so that we can chop Put the barbecue on here, or not a barbecue, you know what I mean, like a gas doodah, and then we can use this as a kitchen while they're here. Perfect. But it's hot. Actually, it's quite nice under here. This is crazy hot, like burn your hands hot. I thought it'd be ro roasting in there. Royally roasting. No, it's right. Roasting like a chicken, you are. <laughs> What have you done so far, Badger? What? <laughs> uh, Apart from cool. drinking beer on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Sunday. Uh, we've got the frame in, ready to put some worktops in. Sexy. We well, I want to put an oven in. Like a big log burning oven. Are you going to try and persuade me to live in this tin shed instead of the house? Well, I'd always live in the bus. You want the house. <laughs> this is fine for me. So I don't know if anyone remembers, if you've been watching our videos for a little while, we bought a tree, an oak tree, a few months ago. Um, and we made our table and chairs out of it, our bench. And now we are making, I say we, <laughs> Badger is making the worktops from a slice of it too. And the rest we'll use in the main house. Looks mega. Sofa. 
And I've seen that they sell pallet shaped sofa cushions to make the furniture. They do. That's a lot about me though, isn't it? It's pretty good butter, isn't it? Not quite tweaked yet, this has got to come, I think. To there, like that. And then I've got another bit to go in there, and then cushions, so we've got an L-shaped sofa. And then I might put a little bit of work top on here for drinks. It's looking good. And then we get the sunset, once the teepee's moved. Next job. Move the teepee. So as you can see, our beautiful coming along outdoor kitchen room space is right next to the teepee. So we're gonna move the teepee so that can be the outdoor seating area. And we're gonna put it over there. Please excuse the mess. Um, so that's the plan now. Badger, I've just taken all three of the children to the shop. <laughs> Supermarket was a, an achievement sweet. on its own. But I've come back to oh sugars, a pretty much cladded front end of the kitchen. Looks mega. Yeah, it's cool. 
I've just done it really roughly because I want it to be like really quirky. Yeah, definitely. I think it goes so nicely with the rest of it. Yeah, but it's cool. Oh my gosh, what a week it's been. Um, the kitchen is just looking so so cool now and i can't wait to dress it we're at the final stages of kind of choosing cushions and yeah putting all our bits and pieces in so next week i shall be giving you a full tour of our beautiful kitchen well outdoor space um yeah it's coming together so beautifully um yeah i'm just really chuffed with it we've got our friends here as you saw them helping us with the tp so we're going to take some time off go to the river and yeah just have a bit of downtime but we'll be seeing you next sunday thank you so much for watching bye